Think of it. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear than us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of me. Has a familiar face. Uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. I can't reach that brick. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. I can't reach that brick. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh. Friends? Family? They around? Family. But it doesn't seem like it. 
We prove that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. I can't reach that brick. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. safe here. Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And... Her dad. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. I can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. The pills are in there. It's not damaged. And this place didn't get looted. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there?
Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. This door leads to the back alley. Find anything? No, nothing. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world has ended out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. We ought to clear this door for when we find the key. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. 
And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Have you heard from- Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out in the street. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. 
And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one... God bless you all. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? In a minute. Okay, let me know. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress.
Hey, man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I'm done trying to punch out windows. You need to find a way. Let's keep looking around. You need to find a weapon. I'm done trying to punch out windows. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Sure, I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. We're going to need weapons. you a weapon. We should keep looking around for weapons. <laughs> they really want to get into that room. They really want to get into that room. They really want to get into that room. without attracting the others.
can hide by that pickup. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age old problem. gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows.
fur cover that can't just roll away. We can get that guy by the wall over there. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in you might want to break through that board first Stop! Just stop! I'm 
coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Len. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! You Get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. 